Can we tell which product is actually the extreme one? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning! It's a 10 year celebration week! Woohoo! Can you do me a favor? Can I know what the favor is first? Listen, after 10 years of doing this show, 37 years of friendship, can you just be my Okay, friend? yes, I will do the favor. Will you please uh, hand me my ax? All right. Can you do me another favor? Yeah. Can you call me the God of Thunder? <laughs> But you see it, right? It's time for Extreme Products Extreme Edition. Welcome back to Axe Alley. And reminder, at the end of this episode, we got a special 10-year celebration segment that we have not seen yet. We have not seen it yet, but right now, we have made a very important discovery. Not only is the marketplace flooded with snacks that call themselves extreme, but there are aisles full of allegedly extreme non-food products out there as well. Of this discovery was extremely worth exploring. Yeah, so we're gonna be presented with several lineups of products, some marketed as extreme, some not, and then we're gonna be competing to guess which product is extreme by testing them all, and then flinging our axes at that target, the one that represents the stump that we're choosing as extreme. I'm calling these stumps. Okay. I well, mean, I mean it, it kinda is. That's a tall freaking stump, yeah. but it is a stump. If we impel the correct target, we get the amount of points that we landed on. If we land on the wrong target, we lose that many points. And if we land in the neutral zone, we are penalized two points, but also get a single rethrow. Can we say penalized? Penalized, okay. sure. We've also got new extreme obstacles at our disposal to deploy and obstruct our opponent's throw whenever we so choose. Those obstacles represented via Chase the Lumber Snack. This is why Chase has been standing here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whichever way the wind blows, whichever that... Mm. Okay, is, are you just, is that what it's gonna be? You're gonna blow on people, or is it? No, that's just the, the representation. It's just, oh, you're representing yeah. it. Okay, so it'll be, it'll be something else. And a finger full of rejection. Yeah, whatever that means. If the obstacles are impeding enough to force a miss, that's another two points down the drain. Whoever wins will have the honor of carving their initials into the golden log, maybe for the first time. <laughs> what do we have here? Gentlemen, before you is a lineup of odor-eliminating products, but only one claims to be extreme. To determine which product that is, you may test them all on a basket of Mythical Chef Josh's dirty gym clothes. Oh, crap. Well, first of all, that's a bucket, not a basket. Second of all, <laughs> why is hey, Devante, Devante. Why is Devante so uh, protected? <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Should we be... You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, okay. I love the fact this is Devante's first appearance on the show in physical form, and we can't see any of you <laughs> except your eyes. That's that's his that's underwear, and I'm told they're Josh's. They stinky, stinky. Let me give it a Febreze. It's, they smell like Doritos. <laughs> oh my gosh. They they only smell like Doritos. Okay, that was four sprays. Oh, Whoa, that's pretty that's nice. That's pretty good. I know okay. it's a green for breeze. Set those there. This color is not the most extreme color. Okay, we got a stinky sock. It's a dicky. I, I don't know what this is. Ugh. This one smells like Funyuns. <laughs> Four of those. Oh, this. Did, oh, you know what? That really helped. That, this is more like a neutralized. I have thing. no it's clue not what covering this it is. Up, you know. And um, what else we got? Wow. T-shirt. He doesn't. He, he doesn't wear a lot of t-shirts these days. He's usually shirtless or in a tank. Oh, <coughs> oh, that's the worst. Oh, okay. He used that one. He definitely. Yeah. Uh, All right. This is axe. Uh, one, two, three, four. That just smells like axe body spray. Yeah, but it's strong though. Okay, thank you, Devante. I, you know, I probably should put those back, but we'll worry, we'll worry about that later. All right. You won last time, so you're gonna throw first. Okay. Uh. Wow. All right. Do you have an answer? I'm gonna go with the only clue that I have, which is the fact that the Febreze is, is in a black bottle, and so I'm going with uh, the blue. Stop. Going for the blue. Upper left. Dang! All right, so that's four points if you're correct, yeah, because so you, I'm, I'm in the that's the closest number you got. Right. I'm tempted to go with Axe, because it already sounds, I mean, <laughs> Axe, stream. Yeah, right. I am going for the Axe body spray and the green stuff. 
Come on, baby, be right. Up, oh, I went high. Well, you're in the green for two. If blue is correct, I still get one point. I've hedged my bets unintentionally, is what I'm telling you. I get at one point if it's green or blue. This is a situation that we've never run into. <laughs> well, that, that's why that's there in the Venn diagram yeah, of Yeah, but all. you didn't hit it intentionally. But you are in it. I think you're in it. I am in it. Well, we'll, ins we'll inspect. Stevie? <laughs> one of these products promises to snuff out the most extreme odors, and that's the Sweat Export Extreme Odor Spray on the Red Podium. Oh, oh it was extreme. Wrong. The it others are extreme. Febreze Odor Eliminating Fabric Refresher on the Blue Podium and Axe Musk Deodorant Spray on the Green Podium. Okay, so just Gets to, the funk just to out. clarify, this little black uh, triangle in the middle where all the ones meet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the axe hole. It's the axe hole. Did I hit the axe hole? You did not hit the axe hole. The axe is completely off of the board there. Yeah. If you do hit that, it's a guaranteed one point because it's all the ones coming together. But you didn't hit it. You hit the one right here, which actually is not one of them. Right, we're both wrong. You're in the two and the four, but we're gonna penalize you the least. So negative two points for you. I'm in the one, just the one. So I get negative one point. Yes. What do we have next? Okay yeah. guys, you now have a lineup of products best viewed in the dark. Can we please bring down the lights? Oh no, yo, you got a warner guy. Oh, it's we, that uh, kind of dim Twinkie lit. fingies. Not as scary. Don't need the music, the, the personal, your own collection music. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, pretty bright, my friend. I actually saw one of these in, uh, oh, somewhere. Oh and wanted to get it because it's like, you usually are camping and you're cold and you got your head uh -huh. lantern. That's what you Is want. it off? No, it's on. Okay. And this is a lighter. Light. Whoa, that thing's got some butane. Stick your tongue out. I'm a little scared. <laughs> and then we've got- that's, oh, how, that's how you test if a lighter works. We got a whole bunch of these. Uh, what are these called? Uh, rave, rave suppositories, I think. Uh huh. Right, yeah, you gotta put at least three in at the beginning of the night and then one more every hour. <laughs> They're long and thin. Or else you'll get dehydrated. This is so you don't have to stay hydrated at a rave through the mouth. You can do it through the anus. It's not dim enough to know if these are extreme. I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna hit you with this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright guys, let's, lights, please. let's bring the lights You're back up. You're in the lead, so you go first. Hmm. Uh, I think it's gotta be that lighter. That thing's small, packs a, packs a visual wallop, and some heat! So I'm going for red number six. Yeah, baby! Mm, mm, mm. Butane! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Man, I'm upset about that because I was gonna go for the red. Now, now your, your thing's in the way. Oh, hold on, buddy. I'm gonna make you more upset because I'm about to deploy the finger of rejection or whatever it was called. Finger full of rejection. Well, uh, get, get a load of it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to break rules. I'm a rule follower. This is difficult for me. Okay. So uh, you, you you were saying that you agreeing lighter. with me that it's I, this lighter. I saw this on the shelf. I saw the t the uh, the beanie on a shelf at a place, and it's extremely cool. It's not extreme, and like you said, those are just extremely small. It's got to be the lighter. I love this because that index finger is is covering it almost the entire time. Like the red, the there, red. Circle. There is a very small window, so I've got to miss the finger full of rejection and then kind of land on the left side of the bullseye so as to not hit your axe. This is a precision throw, my friend. And I've got to really, I'm gonna time it with that finger wagging. Oh, wow, C cross throw. Okay, so I got four, not six. One Mark of these products promises to brighten your day with extreme lighting, and that is the Eight effect extreme bright rechargeable LED beanie on the oh, blue podium. Dang. Seriously, I saw that thing and I didn't see that ad. On yep. the red podium, we have a Top K triple jet flame torch lighter. I and broke on the it, Stevie. 
green podium, we have Joyin Mini Glow Sticks. Suppositories. Okay, that actually means that you are more wrong than me because you are more right in your Dang bad it, guess. Holmes! But since we always do the most gracious interpretation of the score, you're actually in four and I'm actually in two, so it's a negative four for you, negative two for me. We're not doing great. Mm -mm. Here's a fun question. If you were to die tomorrow, what's the last meal that you would want to eat? Well, we're very excited about a new series over on the Mythical Kitchen where Josh is inviting people to ponder life, death, and existential crises as he serves them their final feast. Yes, and I got the opportunity to be the very first guest on Last Meals. Congratulations. Uh, and let's just say the conversation took some very dark turns. I like the it. The food was great though. And to find out what my final meal would be, visit the Mythical Kitchen channel to watch it. What we got here. These uh. products are all about softness. So you're trying to find the one that delivers the most extreme Softness. Okay, so we got some handcuffs. Whoop. You know, handcuffs are getting softer these days. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just, you know, that's what they're doing these days. For the for the pot potential criminals. Yeah, right. They just or wanna, maybe other applications. Right. They just want to make sure that we don't hurt. As long as you're your restrained. Little wristies. Don't hurt your wristies. Yeah, as long as you're restrained. And then, oh, which one do you want? It seems that we have toothbrushes, toothbrush eye. Oh, that's extremely soft. Oh, with that. Use your left hand. It is hot. I mean, use your right hand. Because that would be funnier. Oh, this is so funny. Do you brush with your left hand? Uh, I brush with my right hand. Okay. Good. Until it gets tired, and then I switch because you know I brush that hard. You switch in the middle of my brushing? My question is, what is this hole in the middle of the brush? It's, what is... it's, it's the flex hole. And then finally, well, these are extremely heavy. What is going on? Are they magnets? <laughs> it's just a slipper. Okay, uh, I actually, in that last round, took the, the lead, Link, by a point. So, I'm going first. Hey, go for it. Because uh, I don't know what the most extreme is here. Those toothbrushes, man. What's toothbrushes in, in plural? Toothbrush eye. Toothbrush eye are so soft, I think that they're extremely soft, and they've got the little neon coloring on there. Yeah. So I'm going with the red, I'm trying to get the six. Oh, you did hit, did you hit the six? No, I'm in the four. Thank goodness. I'm not in the six, I'm in the four. Okay, hmm. If you're right, on red, it has to be the toothbrushes. Yeah, I gotta hit the bullseye on six. But you know what you also gotta do? You have to get through the obstacle that I'm about to deploy on you, Call whichever way the wind blows. What's that noise? Okay, what, what do you call these things, the annoying? keeps popping up in front of my target thingy. The reason I don't go to used car dealerships, because I'm afraid of them. Yeah, I gotta go for the six. If you get the bullseye and you're right, you win. If you get the bullseye and you're wrong, you lose. I gotta go for it, because I can't hedge it. All right, let me see if I can time it. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> and I killed him. Oh, that okay. was amazing. Yes. I hope you're wrong. Oh my gosh. One of these products promises the comfort of extreme softness, and that is the excellent dental activated charcoal oh, extreme yes! soft toothbrush on the you red did podium. It, Link. You you won, you get the card in your name in the golden log. Where is it, where is it? Oh, I only get to see this. Oh, There's man. my log. My streak is over, I'm sad. I'm gonna take myself home and handcuff myself to the bed. Your streak and, is over. And wait for my wife. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anything to do that. But the episode's not over because oh, yes. we're about to celebrate 10 years of GMM. To the desk! All right. All right. Now we want to celebrate what are absolutely the most important pieces of the mythical puzzle, and that's you, the mythical beast. Yes, yeah, so we asked you to because this has been a long time we've doing, been doing this show, 10 years, we asked you to submit a picture of yourself when you started watching the show, and then a picture of yourself now. So, how it started and how it's going, and now we're gonna take a look at some of those. And we haven't seen them, so Stevie, okay, guys. walk us through it. First up, we have Natasha Savinke, and uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance if I mess up anybody's name, but I think that's it. They wrote, when I first started watching GMM, I was the most shy kid in my entire school. I never wanted to talk to anyone. Through watching the show, Rhett, Link, and the crew have shown me how far a little openness and vulnerability can go. 
eight years ago, I met my now best friend and college dorm roommate, all because I tried to be as friendly and open as Rhett and Link were and still are. I'd say it was a great success. And here are their photos. On the left. Oh, wow. Wow, people is, uh, grow up, man. Natasha oh. at eight. And on the right is Natasha at 18. Natasha, you've done it. You've adulted. Wow. And we've just been these two dudes at the desk the whole time. I mean, things have changed about us, but we have not changed that much, Natasha. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we have. <laughs> oh, congratulations on being a Bears fan and also a graduate. Okay, next up we have Khalil Olaiki. Okay, Khalil. They wrote, when I started watching back in late 2013, I was this mm. weird kid. I'm starting to see a theme, a pattern here. I was this yeah. weird kid starting my first year of high school. Fast forward to the present. Now I'm at my last month in medical school, which is crazy to say the least. Medical school is hard and studying abroad is even harder, but GMM made it easier every day. Back then, I was looking for YouTube channels to watch so I could improve my English, which is a second language for me, by the way. But once I started watching GMM, I realized that I'm diving into this mythical world with two guys that at this point I consider my friends slash dads, even though I never met them. And here are their photos. The left is from 2013, yep. and the right is this year, and Khalil writes... Thanks, Rhett, for teaching me the way to trick people into thinking I have a chin. Yes, you, yes, you learned Working well. that beard. You learned well, my son. And the smolder. I like that look, too. Like, hey, we, we, we taught this dude English and how to be a doctor. Yeah, we can take credit for that. He's probably going around saying things like, golly! Like, that's the problem if you learn, if you learn English from us. Yeah, we're sorry. Okay, next is Carter Sinhorst. They wrote... Carter. We found GMM while my wife was pregnant with our daughter, Grace, in 2016. We then watched hundreds of episodes the first few weeks after she was born. We have been fans ever since and have gone back to watch every single episode. Now she is five and starting school. We try to watch each new episode daily, but she still doesn't quite understand why you eat the things that you do. Yeah, we don't either. Yep. Thank you for always being there and making us laugh. And here are Carter's photos. On the left is a picture of his family right after his daughter Grace was born, and on the right is a current day, fo day photo of them as a family of four. Wow, they, I mean, there's been two, there's been a whole nother human added to that picture since then. We're we're making babies too. Yeah, we're making babies. Yeah. Creating doctors, teaching English, and procreating all while sitting here. Congratulations. Okay, next is Evan Bradley, who wrote, I've graduated high school and I'm currently a junior in college. You guys have literally been a, the highlight of my early morning routine. Whether it's post-workouts with college football or just cooking, yeah. GMM has helped keep me positive and enjoy w life one mythical morning at a time. Love you guys. Love and you here too. are Evan's photos. Photo on the left shows Evan in his junior oh. year of high school, and on the right is him now as a junior in college. Dang. Evan put on some muscle and some hair. Yeah, he did. I like I like the, uh, and he, he went from being sponsored by Under Armour to, to sponsored by Nike, which, I mean, in the sports world, that's an upgrade. <laughs> I mean, Is it? I, sorry, Steph Curry. As long as we get a cut, I don't care. Do we get, do we get a residge? <laughs> well, you know, we'll take whatever we can get. Man, and it, I don't know if it's just this particular photo, but like I'd like to think that we helped him become that much more intimidating as a yeah, as yeah, a yeah, football yeah. player. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, those were you know those workouts, GMM, and those football workouts, some combination of those. <laughs> so then we have Bo Burnett who wrote, oh. "I went through a lot of rough spots." Hold on, is it, so okay. Bo Burnett. This is Bo, Bo Burnham's secret identity. Okay, man. all right. Yeah, yeah. Went through some rough spots. Go ahead. Made a, whole, made a whole Netflix special about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went through a lot of rough spots, but every time I would feel down, I always knew there were two men behind a microphone ready to make me laugh. Sure enough, GMM has helped me come out as trans and learn to be grateful with what I've got. And here are Bo's photos. On the left is Bo from 2014, and on the right is a recent photo of Bo. And Bo's teeth got a lot shorter. But Bo got a uh, microphone. Is now doing TED talks. Is that what that? I mean, that yeah. that that's that's the TED talk microphone. Congratulations! Send us send us a link oh, to your TED that, talk. Is that what's happening? Well, it's either a Garth Brooks um, 
you know, like sing along, because Garth likes to use that mic, okay. or it's a TED Talk. Those are the only two places that you can get away with that microphone. Wow. And guys, we had over 1,400 submissions, so we're going to oh. go through some more Mythical Beasts and Good Mythical More, but thank you all so much for sending us your photos yeah. and stories. Thank you, all of you. This is a, this is a special week. Very special And it week. continues. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Peekaboo, Darcy Cardinia. I am sending Rhett and Link and all the little beasties a huge congratulations on 10 years of GMM. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ha! <laughs> Darcy. She originated the whole little beastie. That's thing, right. For those of you who don't know, thank you for doing that, Darcy. <laughs> Click the top link if you want to uh, see some more mythical beast photos and also hear and see hear about and see my new tattoo, what? And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. It's funny, even when I look at like pictures of good memories, I get this uncomfortable. Yeah, oh, you get a little you. cream in your beard. That honey. happens, that happens, thank you. I'll pay you back later. 